Welcome O2 fans to another Third Earth Reviews toy review and today I will be reviewing the Masters of the Universe Transforming Evil Warrior Vehicle Dragster. Dragster was released in 1986 as part of Wave 5 of the Masters of the Universe toy line from Mattel. And before we start this review, I just want to say thank you to my awesome friend who let me use his figure for this review. There will be some more reviews on Rare Motu figures from his collection in the near future. Dragstore was sold on a blister card packaging that fully showcased the figure. His weapon laid at his feet and his mini comic was behind him. Dragstore's mini comic was the Warrior Machine. On the back of the blister card, there was a fantastic piece of artwork starring the character fighting against some snake men, images of other figures that were sold separately, and instructions for his action feature. Dragstore is one of the more unique figures among the vintage Masters of the Universe characters. This is because he was designed both as an evil horde member and as a vehicle. The dark blue and silver stands out nicely against the rest of the evil horde, and he has some interesting sculpted details for his more mechanical parts and helmet. Dragster has slightly different articulation than most of the vintage Motu figures. His head can look left and right, his arms can move up and down, and his legs can rotate at the hips. However, he does not have a standard twistable waist nor the power punch action, due to his action feature. Dragster has a unique action feature compared to other vintage Masters of the Universe figures of this time. First you would pull his arms up, then you would push his legs back and insert the ripcord. By pulling on the ripcord through the slot on his back, Dragster could race across a smooth surface. Dragster came with a few different accessories, the ripcord required for his action feature, and a crossbow that is made up of a solid grey plastic. Sadly, I was unable to find any variations of Dragster, so if you happen to know about any, please let me know in the comments below. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can check out all my other reviews. In my next Vintage Masters of the Universe review, I will be taking a look at Fisto. So until then, this has been Third Earth Reviews.